So do I, darling. Hi, everybody. Can you hear us? <laughs> we had a few uh, difficulty issues with the internet, so better late than never, I always say. Yeah. So <laughs> just, just waiting for a response. No, you can hear us all, please, guys. Here we go. Okay, it looks like we're. It looks like. Can I get one more person out there, please, to just winner? Okay, the internet isn't the fastest thing here. Really sorry. Um, France is generally like that. You'll come to find, and um, surprisingly enough, to the rest of the world, there is not really fibre here. It's just about coming. So that is what we have to deal with. <laughs> so. Um, Loads of points. Oh, Angelina, your makeup's on points. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Mine isn't. Sorry. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, brilliant. So um, let's have some questions, guys. Yes, show it. We're, um, we are currently in the beautiful Chateau de Gorse in Bordeaux. And um, it's stunning. A region of... It's all right. You can come out, Anna. It's all right. <laughs> The owners are behind us. Yeah. It's a county of lovely wines. Um, so, of course, we are here. We've got to taste it, and we have done a bit of wine tasting here, which is great. <laughs> thanks. Thanks to Bertram. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, it needs to be shorter. But, uh, <laughs> it's a nice start. I haven't, I haven't, do you know what? I haven't, Ooh. honest, thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Somebody I know who you said, are. Phil, why are you so devilishly handsome? I know exactly who that is. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh let's it's going to get difficult with all the stuff coming through so we're going to do our best okay guys mm. angelina where are you from okay so i'm a, from a very very tiny country called estonia which is um pretty much east of europe um it's two hours away from uk normally via flight and um it's a port country really really small you can probably walk through my city within 30 minutes <laughs> uh so we're currently filming for something else as well while yeah. we're here and uh, I've had to leave to do this live chat because we're running behind with an interview we're doing. And yes. we've obviously just got, I'm your biggest fans from the idiots that are sat in there and they're all <laughs> laughing at me through the window. Because <laughs> they've now decided to completely stop doing what they're doing. Even though, can you get back to work, Billy? And they're all, get out here, come on. Come on. Come to the background, they've, come they've, on. they've given up working, so... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Cheers, guys. We didn't mean to sabotage them. <laughs> and come on, more, more. <laughs> Thank you for that. And Ryan, right. Ryan's messaging. Yeah, like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> These are the two lovely owners at the Chateau Lagos. We're staying here for the moment, filming this new exciting. They're not show. getting rid of us, to be we're, fair. We're, we're, We'll leave you to it, guys. But we, we've even tried setting the dogs on you. Like, <laughs> friends. Oh, dear. Cool. Oh, okay, so let's get to the questions now. So um, you've done where you're from? Yep. Estonia? Yeah. Tallinn, winner. <laughs> let's get back to the questions. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, there what's, is a million questions. What's right, the listen. next big project in your chatter? I'm going to answer one that's come okay. up a couple of times. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Guys, uh, yeah, in DIY, we leased our chateau uh, to begin with. Uh, we are under filming contracts that we cannot release upcoming storylines that may or may not be filmed. So the question that comes up a lot, have we now bought it? I am contractually not allowed to answer, uh, but we're not going anywhere. Yeah. I hope that doesn't get me sued, but answers your question as, as, as best as is possible. So we'll just, we'll click on from that. Um, where is next one? Big ne ne next big projects. Mm. Where do we start? Uh, Phil has got a horse box, which has been mentioned. I think the, the big, the big project is quite bright out here. So yeah. apologies. <laughs> I'm like, um, Oh, try me while we reconnect you. Are we reconnecting? No, no, it's fine. No, we, we're it's good. It's just buffering. Okay. From, um, I'll do the same. Sorry. So, We've got, um, uh, we, we, we're going to plan to do our events anyway. So this, I've got some really big projects to try to get the grounds ready, but also it's some of the equipment. So 
I might have to build a fairly large wooden stage, convert a horse box into a bar um, and uh, sort out some disabled access um, uh, toilets. Uh, inevitably, also, um, it's trying to find a way to make, make what we've made work for events now work with COVID and the inevitable restrictions we're all living with, uh, with social distancing and stuff. So that's kind of my next big project. Um, the winter is where we all will, to be fair, because we work with seasons, we're really going to crack on with other stuff in the chateau. Um, I will usual t- yeah. uh, upholstery for me. Uh, <laughs> maybe create some furniture. That would be fun. I ha- did catch some ideas from here, yeah. but for the events, um, I've got to make a like our driveway to our chateau is uh, like something like 500 meters or kilometer, I forget, but my bunting has to go zigzag across, which means I've got to make at least a kilometer worth of bunting. You do realize they're watching it in there. I can hear it. I know, but ignore that. So, yeah, that's, you know, it sounds simple enough, but when you're doing this day by day on a sewing machine, it gets boring. And I started there uh, last year so and I didn't quite complete the full driveway so that is my big project and the furniture is always there to do up so I'm just uh, but I mean as for other massive projects I actually really want to rebuild the missing wing um, whether that's any time upcoming or, or not is a completely different matter um, <laughs> but I guess that would be the big, biggest project we'd ever do if we managed to get that far so let's crack on from that sorry i really can't see so somebody wanted Hello. to know um what we did uh before we came to the chateau um so we were both in uh property industry um in different firms all over london and so our experience was looking at these beautiful properties and uh sort of i, I did a bit of maintenance side of things and so my understanding dog. about all properties is all that we had and passion and i was a bit creative so i was starting early on about my, my creativity and exploring it as soon as we came to france uh, to the chateau we had to learn so many things you would never ever ever dream of learning in your entire life but you've got to you got to be really 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 eco-friendly with our place because we're surrounded by water and the amount of nature is in there so i experienced we came with nothing and we now have learned so so much so i'm getting attacked by a dog so stop okay cool um, let me have something else what volunteers. Have we got? this is a most asked question <sighs> We yeah, take volunteers um, or you should get volunteers. So, so here's the thing. Do you know what? The volunteering thing is a fantastic program for people volunteering and people getting volunteers. It is a really wonderful way to share other people's experiences around the world, get some help. And uh, obviously, you know, just it's just fantastic to, for people to experience something, i.e. the people volunteering that they never would, i.e. going to Chateau, but also the people hosting to uh, learn about other people's cultures, ways of doing things. It's really, really fantastic. Our issue is our style of working, just based on our crazy kind of life at the moment, is I could have to drop everything and drive to the UK the next day. I, we don't, I don't permanently live in France. I am back and forth constantly. And there's no set time. I'm not here for a week, gone for a week. I could just go out, gone, and I'm going in two hours, which is very difficult than leaving Angelina. Um, and I think because of the way we work, we work constantly up to a deadline and then die. Just, I can't yeah. do anything. Like, um, you, you, you've commented a lot, all of you, that you must just come to bed and collapse in it from exhaustion. It's true, we do, because also the sun goes down quite late. So quite often we don't realize what, it, what time it is and we're still working at 10 p.m but we haven't realized that we're still working that late or that we've not eaten. So imagine that throwing volunteers into the mix, which we've explained in the past. Um, it hasn't really come through. So um, we had a mix of experience. We, we do get a lot of help from our friends locally um, at times in need, and it's fun for them as well, yeah. and vice and, versa. And I think I'd love to go down that route in the future, mm. but when we can make sure that the experience of the volunteers and us is right up there, rather than it becoming something we also have to think about. Um, there's there's nothing worse than thinking somebody's not going to be enjoying themselves at your home. I just don't think it works for our style at the moment, um, sadly. Yeah, it's yeah. quite a lot. It's yeah. quite hard work, basically. Cool. So let's... Uh, um, let's see. 
Uh, any news on the next episode? Oh, oh, I don't know that. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry, Eric. Um, you're saying, but Philip, is that true for every chateau? Are we talking about the volunteers? I guess. Um, no, no. It's. Um, I think it's. It's just our style of working. That's. That's. That's all. And every chateau is a, on a different journey. We're right at the beginning of yeah. it, and others have been um, doing it for. Cool. Many years. Another one. Am I still in property? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll deal with uh, quite a lot of property stuff still. Um, it's my chosen career. I guess it was what I was good at. Um, uh, I did it when I was younger. And I did it when I moved to London. So yeah, I, I, that's still it. And it's what gives me um, uh, giving me fantastic things. Uh, is the event still going ahead on the 23rd of August? It was never going to be the 23rd. It was going to be the 22nd, Martin. Um, so at the moment, yes, we are just waiting for authorization from... Uh, the prefecture, sort of the head of the department. Um, at the moment, we are allowed to hold it based on the current rules. And uh, up to 1,500 people, basically, we're allowed to hold without um, a set authorization and very big restrictions. Um, but uh, yeah, come to that. Uh, but um, the prefecture is still asking for lots of information up to 1,500. And things are not taking a backward slide in our area, but um, the doing more testing for COVID so the numbers are increasing and they're just making sure at the moment before they give us the authorization that the numbers aren't rising um, because of it's coming back as, a, as, yeah, as, as opposed to just the testing numbers are showing it so at the moment yes and we are just waiting for the next week or so to actually uh, sort of formally announce that date so yeah. uh, um, was that when we're we building a uh, catapult. Uh, catapult. <laughs> catapult. I don't know. I, don't I know. want to build a catapult. <laughs> don't entice him with any ideas. <laughs> Although he liked the sound of that. I'm sure Billy would love to join on that project idea as well. And what would you use to test the catapult? Bricks. <laughs> bricks. See what I, would, I mean? <laughs> I would be catapulting bricks. Pallets of bricks. And probably seeing how far each one of you can throw and how, um, what's yeah. what the biggest brick you can throw. That, that would that be fun. Cool. Right. Oh, let's get away from the catapult because I'm hearing some laughing inside, which is Billy really wanting to build a catapult now. And, you know, we've got some we've got some chores. So did we speak oh, any French before we came to France? Um, Angelina. Angelina is absolutely nothing. Zero. I speak. Um, I spoke a lot of languages, half of forgotten. Uh, and uh, for me, French is incredible. Incredibly, at, at the start, when we came here, it was incredibly difficult. Uh, pronunciation, it's not my chosen uh, language. Um, it, I find it quite hard. But now I've been here long enough and I've practiced enough, actually, it's okay. Um, so I probably at this point speak more than Phil, but I knew zero. Whereas Phil learnt at school, like children do in UK, and he knew more than me. But um, he knows so, a lot less than me. I'm much. really sorry, guys. We've just, We've got them... So right, you can come back out. They're trying to do ghosts on sheets out the window. <laughs> There's, uh, this chateau is not haunted, I tell you that now. It's, it's haunted by idiots. <laughs> um, right, so um, have I... Let's... Here we go, see. Cool. Stop it. Pay attention. Look at them. I just, we are being distracted, but it's fun. Uh, have I ever sold a chateau in my life of um, uh, property? No. Because I've not sold anything in France, I sold some very big places in London, um, which would be a, a, a would be a similar size. But uh, no, um, there's a ghost in the chateau. You saw them. I saw them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Will there be a new intro movie for the Duck House as it's now finished? That's a good question because yeah. I was just rewatching one of our videos and I thought actually it. it, it the spring has sprung and the flowers are everywhere. The place looks so much better. And we've done so many projects that. I was just thinking, we need a new intro. We need an updated. So, yes. yes yeah, absolutely. The um, there's some wonderful stuff in it, but ultimately a lot of it is filmed in winter. And we quite love to uh, update it once the summer's in full swing. Uh, as, as for answering Angelina's question, sorry, because the, these lot came out and started bothering mm. us. Um, my, uh, thank you, Joseph. Um, uh, my safety glasses are here. Um uh, yeah, I, I, my French is still uh, rough, but learning every day. But thankfully, I, I learned it in school, so um, it's coming back 
quite. Uh, yes. Do, not... do you think of ever restoring the chateau to its original uh, size? Yeah. Do you know what? Listen, um, you probably just missed out at the front. Absolutely. It's something that I'd really, really like to do. And we're kind of looking at um, how that could be done at the moment. Um, I have even sort of asked tentatively at the mayor's office regarding the planning commission for that. And they've just sort of rubbed their hands with glee at the property tax that they then have to receive from us and uh, said yes. Uh, so, yeah, um, that would be wonderful. Uh, yes. Um, uh, do I... <laughs> there's uh, a lot of questions there's... whether Philly needs a refill. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no I, I, hello, Andy. Thank you for that. Yes, I do need a refill. Um, <laughs> it's Andy Jackson. Uh, um, are you now more French than English? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, I, I just think we are what we are. We're just human beings. We're just people. I personally don't really associate myself as really anything. I'm happy to live anywhere. Yeah. And I love lo loving language, um, love learning languages. And um, well, we're just here on this exciting, amazing journey. Cool. Listen, I've got. A really cool one. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, guys, it's, it's just so, so fast. Um, so thank you. But I've got to try to find uh, the, the questions as they're sort of pinging through. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got really one. So any advice for someone who wants to move to France and buy a chateau? Uh, yeah, save you money. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Honestly, um, think it through Sending really, it. really long and hard. Think it through. Not because you shouldn't do it. Not because I would advise not to do it or, or run it out and do it. I just... Um, I was in the property game for 15 years. I looked around some horrible places in London. I looked around some of the most expensive things in London. I got to experience that all across my property career, and that was wonderful. I still walked into a chateau and saw not a single problem that I should have seen um, or uh, any of the things that would make me, uh, in my professional career, go, not sure about that, not sure about that. And I just went, I want it. I want to live here. I just, there was nothing that I just, I was amazed. Yes. Oh, look, I've got a refill coming. There you go, Phil. Oh, on Angelina. tap. On tap. No, I'm okay. Thank you there very you much. Go. I've got mine. Can you see that it's a magnum on there? <laughs> it's a magnum. <laughs> Phil, average size. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, did, you Cheers, know you, did you know you've got some ghosts? Oh, no. We didn't, we didn't, we no, didn't tell you we live really Cheers, close to no. everyone. Um, this is a really good question. Our chateau, do we live um, close to our village? We are in between two villages, actually. And one of them is really busy. And only now we realize, having gone to many other chateaus, how lucky we are. Because our village has actually got high street. It's got supermarket. It's got the most basic hardware DIY and builds merchants. So we're really lucky. But then there's other people. are like, we're here in Chateau Lagos and kind of... It's a, it's a bit far away. So, um, but it's still within a one of the busiest places of obviously Bordeaux. So, so we're, we're we're still on that. Are we still on the? We, you know, what would you, uh, the advice for uh, someone looking at the wrong? Oh, well, you were getting oh, no, refilled. No, I was, I was getting sorry. Refill. Uh, we, we're, we're skipping around. Sorry. So my, my simple advice: I missed loads of things. I couldn't see them. It was terrible. You absolutely, no matter how much, if you're thinking about a chateau, do the maths and. Uh, take any emotion out of it and walk away and think about it properly because mm. it's a bit like our place you go do you know what oh should we pretend it's a wedding venue and then you realize you've got no parking um or or, or, or stuff like that um so it's all it is is about trying to take the emotion about seeing something so beautiful out of the equation that's my advice if you want to do it um and do the maths i I've would give advice actually oh, the one thing that shocked me is that um in UK and probably in US and probably in Canada and possibly in Australia, there is so much competition of different um, tools, for instance, you know, or paint. There's so many options, you know, the competition is just there and it's just about which one you go for or which one's the best price or whatever. In France, it's not like this. The competition isn't much. So you pretty much got three choices of the best name brands, nothing like, you know, cheap. And so... And they are, you know, things are expensive in France. So um, your money doesn't go as far as it probably would in the countries I've mentioned. Uh, so that was a huge shock for us. So every time we do something, we have to think twice because, um, you know, where is your money best used for? So that's one of the things you learn um, if you move here. So that's something definitely to consider, okay? A nice, easy question to answer because um, he's just been here. Trying to interrupt our live stream. Um, uh, who do I live closest to? 
uh, Billy Gwen and Michael. <laughs> the people serving us uh, wine. We are, we're, <laughs> we're, we're 15 minutes away from yeah. them. I speak to Billy most days uh, on WhatsApp. You fix if you fix his car most days. I, I help <laughs> fix his car most days, um, and uh, and um, I think it's now three years in a row we've been there for, to see the new year in uh, yeah. at their house. So um, they're the, they're the people we're closest to, and we've got a, a few others which are aren't far. So uh, yeah, n- nice easy question. Yes. Um, right, uh, why is Billy there? Because we Billy and I are doing a new project it's a new youtube channel so it is essentially a proper tv series which will only air on youtube so all the production value the equipment we're using um we are filming a new project and it's regarding multiple chateaus uh certain aspects of it i mean yes could you say it's a little bit like Escape to Shatter DIY? It's got it's got various shadows in it. That's about the only thing that's similar. Um, but we are looking forward to showing uh, Chateau life uh, in, in a little bit of a different way. So we're here filming that because these guys. Um, I'm not going to lie. I just I've been I was blown away by this place, and yeah, um, we'll show you some, some of that stuff again. It's it really is our our normal vlogs when we return. Um, we'll have them featured yeah. so my job on this trip is to accompany and do our Chateau Life vlog for you guys and um, Phil isn't going to be much in it because him and Billy are both busy filming so I guess Michael will be on his own as well in that case yeah. because Phil is uh, away <laughs> Karen thank you very much I don't know I don't need to borrow Michael's new drone um, I've got our own uh, sorry, I've, I've I've got our own, so um, uh, we're going to get some drone footage, and we've got some great drone footage from Eagle Eye Photography, which yeah. we use quite a bit, which is fantastic. So uh, no need to borrow anyone's drone quite yet. Plus, I don't want to crash it. <laughs> so you know, let's let's not that. Um, do ghost? Do we see yourself living in France forever? To be honest, um, I I probably do, but but I I do like travelling around. Mm, yeah so, i can't uh, in my heart i'm i'm probably too young to say 100 yeah, percent and commit to this country i i love traveling <clears throat> i have traveled all my life and i have lived in many places and i like exploring for now like this is you know a serious and long-term um thing um yeah, yeah i don't know who yeah. knows what future holds so um this is this is the most I, exciting i, I think it's it's safe to say there's no no Joel I'm not saying I've got a better drone it's nowhere near as good as I just I don't want to crash somebody else's equipment because don't, don't, don't trust me uh, I, it's it's a quick it's not any time so we have no plans to go anywhere currently so yeah. uh, we're, we're not making a decision to, for the rest of our lives so we've got kids like, to I, have you know in future perhaps and um, well we got married in it and this was going to be our adult home and take life seriously and so we're here for now for a really long time we took this really really seriously because you know as youngsters we fed up of moving around and at this uh, time you know in our mid-30s um, you can understand that this is a very serious project the most serious we have probably ever done <laughs> yeah uh super sorry we've got someone asking to repeat a question here we go cool um apologies there are so many questions coming yeah. through guys i just can't uh i can't give us a, we don't get to them um I, i'm i'm sorry okay um uh garden what do you vegetable uh, so uh, how are we doing with the garden the vegetable garden honestly we're awful um if the world required us to grow our food you mean supply, kitchen garden? yeah, um, yeah. I mean, if, if the world required us to supply them with food, we'd be wiped out. But <laughs> but we've we found some things we can grow we're and trying. we're getting better. Yeah, the project of kitchen garden is uh, a three or two year long standing. So we're really pleased that we've gone this far and we've done so much um, more than we thought we would. But with everything, first year you start, you know planting seeds and growing your own things you learn so that's uh, it's a learning journey for us um but the problem is because um the uh lockdown has delayed us being able to get uh projects um things to complete with um we are kind of behind and 
you know, the weather throws as well at us. And I guess our business as well throws yeah. things at us. So life throws a curveball and it's not perfect. So I have some things growing and I've been meaning to do an update, but obviously there's projects that we had yeah. to film to finish to show you the finished yeah. results. So I'm... There is some vegetation. Um, I think the one thing we definitely learn, I think we'll stick to the uh, salads and things that basically grow really, really quickly within 30 days hassle-free anything that does not require me to water yeah. it regularly uh, yeah I, mean, I think i'm I, I talk it down because what we've created is not what we'd imagine in the uh in in the first place but ultimately we also didn't realize how much yeah. hard work it is I'm, I'm, I'm really sense. proud of what you actually grow because like i could kill grass looking at it i'm just i'm awful so you know we're, we're doing quite well yeah. um so uh there was another one uh how much wine can i drink in a day quite a lot to be fair uh but no honestly it's it's live and we're both a bit nervous so that so it's uh it's saying the stable's on it's uh look, you're back yeah. live again there we go cool <laughs> so look we uh we popped out sorry so um at the youtube channel i really enjoy it we did start it um probably a year before we really started then uh start, came back and started doing the episodes sort of weekly and yeah, do you know what? It, it is was, a lot of hard yeah. work, and I, I guess in a way that's why we sort of gave it a pause, and then life through, and then business came over, and etc. And then before you knew, it was winter, and we just thought, well, it's not so nice to see winter in the chateau. Um, so we just cracked on with projects there, and we kind of this year took it seriously yet yeah, once again, and tried to arrange things and work out when we can dedicate fresh new time to this new YouTube project. So we are enjoying it to the full now. Yes, we're still learning and there is so much to do and to read about and explore. Um, you know, our first live isn't going as smoothly as we had hoped, but hey ho, that's life really. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really exciting experience and it's so lovely to share the love that we have with the Chateau, not only the local public that is around us, but for people like all of you who are watching it from all over the world who are unable to come round, but yeah. would love to see it in depth and really perhaps escape. I think um, it's really, I think we started doing a YouTube channel again and doing something weekly because of the lockdown. And we just sort of sat there one day and my friends in London are sat in flats and they're like, this is going to be really, really hard. And I sort of looked out the window and went, it's not going to, be anywhere near as hard for me nothing and changed for us honestly no, well no nothing changed but it's a bit same hard work as it's always. a bit difficult when i when i realized how I, I always know we're fortunate to be where we are live where we are and and do what we do but i, re I really really realized that when the lockdown happened mm. and i thought how difficult it really is for lots of people and we just wanted to share that because when everyone's having a hard time with what's going on i thought well Let's share what we're going on and, and take people's minds off it. And um, that's gone quite well. And um, you've enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. You know? Mm. Uh, do any of your family live close to you? No. 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 <laughs> they all live in England. Um, I think our closest family members are Chateau Bamania, the Petherics, <laughs> adopted family. Um, the show who became our extremely close friends and we like the adopted children to them which is really nice we spend our Christmases there together um, and yes we do go and see our family members and when we do go back to England or we make special trips but they live six hours apart um, and I don't really enjoy long journeys <laughs> in the car so it's difficult I think I guess it's difficult for everyone when it comes to, uh, to that age and where they live um, but um, nevertheless, we have the beautiful connectivity of our phones, um, you know, uh, internet, uh, live chats and videos. Yeah. So uh, I think, I guess the world isn't as difficult or far connected as it used to be. Yeah. You know, so uh, we, we travel a lot. I, I try to see my family as best, best as possible. My mum my and stepdad are down in Cornwall. And it's always nice to just to head down there um, when I can and, and see home. Um, cool. So I've got one that's just sort of clips. Like, guys, look, you've got so many questions. I've seen a couple of people saying that they haven't had the question answered yet. I just can't see them. So you, it's, it's thank you so many people watching, but I just can't see that many. So, so I'm trying to find everything I can. So um, I really 
uh, apologies. So um, there is one. Um, okay, if we'd seen, you know, is there anything else we saw that we might have wanted? Or <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, everyone must be going. Yay, my questions. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> do you know what? Yes, yes. Do you no, know? I'm going to tell us. Yeah, do you know what happened? We really want. I really wanted something symmetrical because I love symmetry. Um, With these, a long drive. Long drive. A uh, decent 50 or 60 acres, uh, some woodlands, all the rest of it. And apparently, there wasn't anything like going. that in my area for sale. I was on with every single estate agent. We're all right. No, no, it's no problem at all. And then one day, we're sitting there going, well, apparently, we can't find that anywhere. And somebody messaged and said, Do you, have you heard about this young couple that bought a chateau up the road? And I went, oh, well, you know, it can't be what I'm looking for. Well, it's got 60 acres, uh, a lake, some forest. It's really beautiful, a long drive and symmetrical. And it's like, well, hmm. Oh, and, and they it, have a chapel. Oh, they've got a chapel. It's really, really pretty. So we had to find who these so people were. we had to find were. who they are. And this now, competition. <laughs> now we've had him coming out and filling up my... My glass, and now he's waving at me out, out of a window. And now, and um, I didn't get that chateau. I really, really upset the estate agents, if I'm honest. Uh, but we got some really good friends. So yeah. that's, um, I'm, and that I'm happy chateau with that. that we're talking about is, is the Pertha Basmanier. Basmanier. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and now we're on holiday at Chateau de Gorse with people from Chateau Basmanier. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Life is supposed to go that way. It's that's, a small world, yeah. yeah. That's, and that's the, way the day we met them, oh, they were so lovely. And we, we became instant, really incredibly good friends. And, well, and time's just gone by, really. We had so many amazing um, memories together. Yeah. So uh, let me try. Sorry, I'm just going through all of these things. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to find. Uh, yes, Joel, I'm drinking more wine. It does help. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Um, let's just go back. Um, here we go. Sorry, guys. I am trying to find all of your questions. Is there so, any news on the old cottage? Any news in the old cottage? Honestly, uh, no. Um, the, I, tell them the cottage. I the, the, the gardener's cottage is quite pretty. It's going to be quite cute. But ultimately, it it needs so much work it is simply a shell all i want to do is try to make any of the features that you know will need a lot more work not deteriorate any quicker i'm trying to slow the the deterioration process uh and not bring it back to life simply because it's so far removed from everything else that we need to 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 go you know to deal with and just, so much no. money that that money is better spent on other more useful things currently. Um, so perhaps in future, for sure, we're never ruling that out. Um, it's definitely a good yeah. idea. I've, I've started with the Swan House. What, what more do you want? <laughs> um, this is a really, I guess, interesting question for how we came about. But basically what it was is where do you live in London? So our story before the Chateau. So I lived in a very touristy area for a very long time called Tower Bridge which is famous for opening and closing. Um, so, yeah, I was I was zone one tourist city girl. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't. I, I <laughs> lived uh, out in the sticks of London because um, I was poor. Uh, so we, 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 how we met is essentially the question, yeah? No, they no? just well, wanted to live? know where we live. Can I, I, lived, I, just I live in Tooting. When, when, when I first um, uh, went to see his area, which is, um, they call it zone three. So there's many zones in London. The further you go out, the more numbers. But when I came there, I said, wow, look at this beautiful countryside. I love this forest. And he said, oh, you mean the common park just here? And I didn't actually realize we were not in the city still because I never really ventured outside of the inner city. So that's how terrible it was. <laughs> how did we meet see i i started answering your question before you answered it um <laughs> really? you know what uh it was it was a friend Mutual um, friend yeah so when i first moved to london i worked at a company got really friendly with one guy in there we stayed friends when we moved on as you do uh, that sort of stuff and he came over to work in my company and we worked um you know for a few months together yeah. and it was his birthday yeah so like future future after that he invited me out on his birthday it was a sunday it was january and Both of us didn't want to go. No. Uh, also, to be honest, it was the other side of London. It was on a Sunday. I had a, a raging hangover from Saturday night. Really? Uh, I wouldn't have thought. Really, really, really. It was, so I was like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Uh, and this is where fate obviously stepped in. And I just went, oh, I feel really, oh, I feel quite good now. No, okay, cool. You, know you what? mean you heard there's a Sunday roast on? Yeah, yeah, I heard there's a Sunday roast dinner. Uh, and I went all the way across the other side of London. And at the time, 
I was thinking of riding a motorbike around the world and I really wanted to do uh, the Road of Bones in Siberia and that sort of thing. I, was, I had the motorbike, I put a bike, I still have it actually. Um, and I was researching Russia quite a lot of the time. And when we started talking on this sort of random afternoon out bowling for someone's birthday, um, started talking because I was very interested in Russia, Russian heritage, and we got on really well. And I've never now taken the motorbike around the world, but I've got a wife, so you know, I'll I'll take that. Works out. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. I am glad I went, Mark. Yes. Yeah, I am. I am glad I went. I still like to ride the motorbike around the world, but I'm not allowed. Mm, it's your choice. Um. Uh. No, David. I don't think I ever ate in uh, the restaurant in Tota called Teasing. But um, uh, what a place to get curry! Like, there's there's some great places. Love Tooting. Uh, it really is. Good. Um, whose other chateau would you like to live in from Chateau DIY? I'm always going to upset someone if I answer that. I'm really blank. Like, I can't think. Um, here. We're not leaving. I yeah. liked a few. See, I just see yeah. there's a difference between what they look like outside and to what they look like inside. So I'd like to take a few things from you know, a few other chateaus and just cram it together and that'll be my ideal chateau. Like normal houses, there's <laughs> pros and cons and everything. There is never a perfect house because there is something that's going to be like, in our case, the parking. Um, so, yeah, it's we'll get there yeah. though. I'll have I my th- perfect, perfect, perfect I think chateau. that's actually a really good point. Like chateaus, uh, it comes back to other questions you've asked about uh, perfect chateaus. You know, would you find another one? Uh, what's your best advice? Do you know what? Nothing's going to be perfect. Um, I, when we found, uh, Chateau de Bale, I looked at a photo and I knew I wanted to live there. Uh, I thought I was going to have a hard time convincing Angelina and she was kind of like, this sounds like an intro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> funny enough. Uh, <laughs> but, but really that, that the intro is, is just truth to the point. Um, I found a photo, Angelina saw a photo. I was in love with it. That was it. From, and none, none of the rest of it mattered. From one single photo, I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go there. Um, yeah. And so I live anywhere else. Uh, no. I find uh, it really unique. You, know. um, uh, you guys always say in our video, it's amazing how many birds you can hear and how loud they are. Most of the time, rather than, say, either of us talking. So I constantly have to edit our voice slightly louder. Otherwise, it's all on the same level. So it's challenging that way. But it's beautiful. Like, people would kill to have that in their life. So that's really unique. Can I go to others? Like, we are here beautiful. We are in the countryside. But the trees are further away from the chateau than ours. And I'm sure the birds are there. But you don't really hear them here in the background. There is a lake right there as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. So I've got another one. Uh, Are the mosquitoes bad with all the water? So, so yes. So, I mean, there's... uh... The, the, you know, the chateau is surrounded. You can't open a window without looking directly down at the back and sides of the house, mm. straight to water. There's, there's no island um, around the house. There's no island. It's straight to water. Foundations are straight into water at the back, and there's a small island at the front. Is it bad? Um, it can be. Uh, mm. not, not, not in a difficult way. Um, it can be if you don't cut grass. If the yeah. grass is long, the mosquitoes are going to hide there. So they're going to be closer to the chateau. And yes, of course, they breed in the water. And if the water was not looked after and be more stagnant and stale, then yeah. But um, to be honest, since we moved in, there's less and less mosquitoes. And um, we have learned to try and live with them and get one of them uv lights that yeah. capture them and so it's not really a big problem at all um it's not something we notice basically to cool be sorry i'm not looking like i'm trying to read the questions i'm trying mm-hmm. to catch up guys uh will we ever do b&b honestly when we did the tv show we did we did b&b briefly for uh one season because it was about people from the show who really wanted to come and meet us and that wasn't taking away from the area because those people wouldn't have come to the area if it wasn't mm. for the tv show and, and staying ours uh no I, I, we don't ever do it again we met some really wonderful wonderful people and we had some fantastic experiences but we also realized you are just tied to the property and, and You'll end up resenting it, so it wasn't it wasn't going to work for us. I think it's it's uh, it's never was meant to be a plan at all because um, it's n- tell industry is not really a passion or interest or anything, and we didn't want to take it away. 
from the area that supplies you know plenty of um b and b's around uh for the people coming to visit so we simply only ever did it for uh, you know people that saw the show and were specifically interested to stay in our chateau after seeing it um so we we know what a thing is we enjoy parties we enjoy yeah. with people for us come and join you know i hope you'll get to join in um when we do get the go ahead on it but um yeah that that's a thing and everyone has their fun business idea a thing that they like to work for in living you know yeah exactly uh, another one how's the dumping room going have we got any uh, less clutter i'm no. thinking which one no, um, no, no. <laughs> i think there's one where i did the table painting um that one was really filled up it's actually getting less and less filled because obviously i'm going through projects and moving around essentially that room in itself is a huge project so we're not there yet we just need time but oh, we've got the event so we don't have the luxury of time my, my, my smell is here phil's got phil's got a uh, hole in his glass <laughs> oh, oh dear water would you like water instead no, it's uh, what day is it? Sure. Wednesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday. I'm allowed, I'm allowed, I'm on holiday. Uh, super uh, guys, um, are you going to get a female peacock for your male? Oh my god, this is the most frustrating. Yes, we've been wanting for like I don't know six months, um, longer. Um, we actually had a female lined up and uh, COVID hit, and the people who were gonna give it to us um we were going to adopt it from them um they sadly that was their second home and they were sadly locked out in uk and um we messaged them because they have a uh gardener and he said she's disappeared so um she's gone and probably found another home that feeds her yeah. um so but we uh, phil did do research he found there's a farm that um sells it so we we will get a female peacock definitely um we don't want him to be lonely he needs a partner and yeah that's on the to-do list for sure yeah um just you know i i spend a lot of time with him as well and you see him from the videos he kind of follows me around and i actually sit on the floor and he'll just sit around with me. So he, he isn't lonely. Or we make sure um, that he's got uh, our company. He actually, at the moment, sleeps on the bridge railings, uh, which is underneath our bedroom, and he hears us, and he'll even make a noise when we're, we he hears us in the bedroom. So it's fantastic. Um, he hasn't uh, got a lonely life yet. Um, but we really, really, really want uh some peahens for him so yeah um i've got a message uh to somebody watching this sorry billy you were supposed to have started the barbecue 30 minutes ago yeah we're hungry <laughs> yeah. Um, um, next th there's a really interesting thing about the water sorry i'm going to interrupt because oh. i'm uh, in charge of water in shatter the wheel and um they're saying why don't you get solar you know uh powered pumps or awesome. aeration and things like that um it's absolutely on to-do list i've been researching this ever since we got there five years and i've improved it little by little um i have a quote for aeration system but essentially you know it's all well and good adding the air but we need to get rid of all the sediment which you guys saw there is so much of so if you don't do that it's kind of pointless adding the air because it, it won't do anything so we have had a guy come round um, last week or so to give us a quote. So yeah. we're just waiting on that. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting and not waiting for that, shall I say. Mm. But um, it needs to be done. So it is on the to-do list. And I think it's the most exciting project that can be for the water, for the wildlife, for the fish that are in there. And I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I have some <laughs> incredible plant ideas for most. Have you ever heard of water landscaping? No, I bet you didn't. So stay with me. I'll tell you later on. So uh, I got a couple of really quick questions to answer. We need to start finishing off. Sorry, guys. We we are kind of on on a, on a break as well. Um, we are no two moments. There, here we go. Sorry, I'm just going to pick up a couple of questions. Where are we? Where does all the funding come from to do all of our projects? Us, and it is bankrupting us. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's honestly that my wine habit, obviously. Um, no, seriously, um, we try to do everything as cheaply as possible, not for a, the finish. We just try to be inventive with it. Hmm. Um, this is why most of the time you see me use tools, but they're not for the intended purpose. They're for completely something else and random. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I do everything. I think through what we're doing first because it's really yeah. difficult. It's very easy to spend a lot of money very quickly doing a project. So, um, you know, it's... It's us, and uh, we really hope one day the Shatter can possibly support that. But in the meantime, it's us. Um, yeah. You know, so there's actually a question that's asked. Uh, oh, trust me, sure. Joel, I don't have I'm that not, much money. Stop. I'm not sure if it was asked here, but it is asked a lot on every time we have a video. And actually, it's a really, really good question. You uh, do, you know, uh, how how does that work? And the simple fact is, by seasons by what we've got going on, i.e. is there a looming event coming up, at which point everything is pushed back and you just concentrate what you need doing for that event. So in the case of what we mentioned earlier, the horse box, uh, the platform for the musicians, bunting, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's how we work. And of course, then you look at your bank balance. Okay, let's wait for the next month. Um, so that's how it works. And I guess your mood comes into that equation as well. So that's how we work. It's very strategically planned yeah. as to what we're working for. As a comment there, the word we're looking for is frugal. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, we are uh, absolutely being as uh, frugal. Although, do we have a Patreon account? Uh, we, we do. And we are really, really um, thankful for all of our patrons. We're, it's wonderful. But the patron is not to run the chateau. It's not to renovate the chateau. It's to help with uh, support the channel. Mm. But ultimately, all that happens with uh, any money from patrons is it mm. means that we have more time to be able to do the channel where we should be working on the chateau. So it works. It still looks after the chateau that way in in that respect. Um, but yes, at the same time, yeah. yeah. Well, at the moment, we're working towards you know improving the equipment or like the sound. Mm. We've got some mics coming on the way. I think they should be there shortly. Um, and um, a, a software, I guess, like editing software and things like that. So for now, we're obviously putting it back directly into the YouTube making of it, like creation side of things. Um, um, no, we're okay for wine, boys. Oh, uh, thank, bringing thankfully. barbecue to there's, all of you. Anyone want some sausages? They've, they, they had, yeah, Billy finally answered the call and lit the barbecue. He's only an hour late. Yeah. Well, what can I say? Um, cool. So, look, uh, we do have to wrap up soon, guys, because um, finally Billy's lit the barbecue. Honestly, <laughs> like, you know. um, we've got what type of events we run from the Chateau? Um, so, we, we at the moment, we have two, and we're trying to make sure they're the same every year because we're trying to build a brand around them. Yeah. Um, and we've got a third one, which we're trying to get off the ground with a really good friend of mine. So um, the two we have at the moment, uh, cancelled sort of, you know, not this year, but based on COVID yet, uh, we do a beer festival because I think it's really nice, that sort of uh, laid back style, trying different things that you have uh, locally and, and from areas that you don't know about, uh, live music, that sort of thing. Uh, we have a summer garden party where we really try to promote local artisans, you know, crafters, that sort of thing. Um, so th they're very much the same style. They're ultimately um, something with music and food. food. And, um, yeah. uh, you know, the artisans, yes, um, are a very special addition to the summer garden party, which is more family friendly because yeah. it's just a... Mm, I don't know. It's got a different feel. Uh, I think a beer festival says it itself. It's an adult kind of event. Um, so yeah, it's um, those are the two, and we we try to do a third, and you know, COVID. But that's okay. You know, that's just life. And yeah. It doesn't mean that we're not going to do it. So next year will be bigger and better. And we always put things back into our events. Yeah. You know, we're we're hoping to. Um to use the chateau to promote everything that's great about our area, and uh, hopefully then maybe transport that to uh, another couple of chateaus, which would be wonderful. Um, so let's just see where it goes. Um, in the meantime, what we get to do is uh, is share what's great about our life with other people. So, yeah, cool. Uh, what about Brookhamp Market? Honestly, there's there's not. I'd love it. Um, our issue is our drive is um, one way. Yeah. Um, so, so our events, they have to be pedestrian and the drive's quite long and it's uh, it only really works in certain ways. It's just a bit difficult. With we don't have stuff, yeah. um, much uh, land, so the parking is a real issue. So, you know, we know our limits and all the time uh, and parking is a headache, but we do get around it. So there are things that can go ahead, but I don't think Brookhands are just yeah. reliable. Cool. Listen, we're going to start wrapping it up, guys. Just... I'm going to give you just sort of 10 seconds. Is there any burning question 
that uh, anyone is really upset oh, that God. they've they've repeated three times and I haven't got to, or Angela hasn't got to, just before we wrap up because it's just going to be on fire right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, I know <laughs> but I just I don't want anyone to feel uh, left out or ignored. Please, um, is, is there anything burning question uh, for a last question of the evening? Um, how's the Range Rover? I've seen that twice. Uh, what my one uh, ruined is old. Uh, uh, Billy's is working, but um, I didn't get it fixed that day. We had to do other stuff. Um, uh, someone in South Africa wants alcohol scent. I, I understand that. You're banned. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, Joel, I don't have TikTok, mate. So uh, sorry. I, I'm I'm social media idiot. I don't understand it. Sorry. Um, why don't we collaborate with neighbours for Helen and Stag do? I really like that um, because we don't offer accommodation. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, um, w- what we absolutely love is sharing the place with as many people as we can. Mm-hmm. And we do that through public events. It's much more fun for us if we can have 1,500 people in the back garden enjoying some great music, some great food, you know, and that sort of thing, rather than a sort of 10 people paying a lot more money. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's... Uh, and also... Out, yeah. I think my thing, um, this is why I was happy to do that with Phil, these events, is something that I can participate in. Um, we like to put those events on and we like to have fun with everyone yeah. else as well as everyone coming to have fun with us or our place. Um, so that's very important for me. I don't want to feel like I'm working um, to kill myself to live in the place. I want to live and enjoy and, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, th- this, quality of life is important. Listen, there's, there's a couple of ones. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna whiz through the last couple, guys. So I don't want anyone. Look, you know, uh, listen, don't 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 worry, guys. There's a, there's no need for any sort of uh, there's a bit there's a bit of stuff going on here. So any there's, there's no need. About the two, no, two, no, two seconds. I'll come to that. Uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave, no kids yet. Um, uh, we're not planning on this in any time in the near future. But uh, what the future brings. Who knows? Uh, and that's the answer. It's, it's not a real question, guys. So, so don't worry about it. I know sometimes it can, can get difficult. But look, we'll see what the future brings. We will have kids one day. Um, I would love to be able to spend time with them rather than running the chateau at that point. Though. So yeah. uh, cool. Uh, no ghosts. Uh, happy house. We're all cool with that. The only ghosts we've seen anytime recently are the ones from bed sheets in the window behind me a minute ago. <laughs> um, uh, anything else? Um just trying to get the name anything. of our chateau is Chateau du Bayeul. Yeah, the place we're at is Chateau Lagos, which there will be a vlog about. And we'll uh, do. Yeah, cool. What would we do if we didn't, uh, if we weren't in the chateau? Uh, probably still be in London, um, doing a lot of hours to uh, not have the same quality of life. Working. So, uh, that's cool. And lastly, sorry, I'm on a metal table and I keep on putting my hand on there and shaking the <laughs> table. Apologies, guys. Um, any last, regrets? No. Any at regrets? All. Uh, that you, you know what? You're not supposed to regret anything in life that you do. You're supposed to regret things you didn't. Uh, I so, think you always like think of something. Oh, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. But you know, you can't live life like that. So we're positive. We're really, really positive couple, and um, we 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 have tons of energy. So oh, it's, it's here we always. Go. No, no, there's no. So no regrets. So listen, guys, we're we're gonna have a barbecue. We've we've been invaded by some ghosts. Ah! (laughs) The ghost has got me. (laughs) Uh, There we go. We got our two ghosts here. Look, hey Charles. There we go. Hello. Right, guys, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much. It's time for us to eat. Thank you for your patience. And sorry, we're a bit late. (laughs) We'll see you soon. Cool. See you next time. Bye. You have to click, yeah.